Absolutely love glitchy intros. I decided that I would show you some today. We're gonna do this all on an adjustment layer. The intro is gonna be your laggy and glitchy part, and then the rest of the edit will be like a nice, amazing quality edit, right? So I wanna do this all on an adjustment layer, and the first glitch effect is signal. If you don't have this plugin, I believe I have a plugins link in my card that you can download it from. Basically, we're not messing with a lot of settings here. All I'm going to do is go to Luma modulation and then turn it off and then go to experimental perimeters, experimental, what? Experimental perimeters and keep all this on except chroma vertical blend blend is that blend i don't know just turn it off um and then that's really it that's how it looks it's amazing i like to add a flash maybe so next is the more popular glitch i would say everybody's been using this search up s underscore j p e G damage. It's a Sapphire plugin, so you're also going to have to download this. <laughs> um, but you can turn the res factor to anything you want, but the higher number, the more damaged it's going to look, I guess, or the more glitchy. I don't really know what to call it, but I'm going to change mine to six. And then if you'd like, you can make it laggy. So I would do freeze frame and you could turn it to whatever you want once again higher number equals more lag maybe so i'll turn mine to seven and then i kind of want to add a bit of a saturated vibe so i would look up hue slash saturation and then i would turn up master saturation oh my goodness i added two on accident turn up the saturation a little bit and this is the result so fun love it anyways moving on last one is inspired by this person they did a tutorial of this on youtube so look up a grid and then apply it to the adjustment layer again then make the border no i'm sorry go to anchor and then make this around 250 mm, i kind of don't want the line to be there just make this around 1100 oh the line's gone now sorry anyways and then go to blending mode and click overlay this one i want to show you requires a universe plugin so look up uni hollow oops, hollow oh sorry uni dot hollow matrix to and add that to your clip um my mac hates universe uh it just does like watch this can take forever to load if it even loads so i'm gonna make the frame rate 15 and then go down to effects wow there's a lot going on keep colorization checked ignore everything else and accept color and brightness settings if you want to change the color this is where you would do that i'm going to change this to negative 30. And then there is one more effect i'd like to show you it's called glitchify sorry if my voice is like monotone right now i'm kind of tired <laughs> I would not do this for the intro, it's more of like a one frame, but I do these all the time on my Instagram edits. Wow. Editing on Mac is so fun, guys. So fun. Mm -hmm. 